Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio and this is an early morning recording so that explains many of the shadows. I do not have my big light on. I'm just using the light from the ceiling fans and it is 625. <laughs> One cup of coffee, so keep that in mind. Look at that. Okay, anyway, um, I'm here today with a video again about my Etsy store. I have been busy for the last few months working on these and I have a total of, I think I have nine. Six are finished and three more are in par partial states of disarray or, you know, I'm still working on them. So I wanted to show you what I've been working on. I have been working on making larger size journals because I, I know many people don't work in you know, little tiny journals like I do. And I wanted to make something larger. And I have been bequeathed or bought some great looking napkins. And I've never done anything with napkins. I just did not think that, you know, it's really my thing. But I started watching people that were doing napkins in their journals, like little things in their journals. And I thought, wouldn't that look cool if I did the whole cover in um, journal uh, napkin? So I did journals that will fit half a sheet, you know, a computer paper folded in half. And I did a whole journal that way. So here is the outside of the first one. And it's good and sturdy. There's the back. So you can put anything up and down the spine. You can put your dangly stuff. You can poke holes in it. And because the um, signatures are spaced out far enough, I'm sorry, you can put eyelets in there or whatever. It is really thick. It's good chipboard. And there are two layers of it. All right, so I'm going to give a click flip through. Here's the inside. I did do the insides also with the napkin. And the inside is chipboard. And then um, I took pieces of cereal box and covered them in the napkin and then um, glued that on top of there because I had decided that when I put the napkin in and then you try to put more napkin on top of it it doesn't look the same and I don't think it looks quite as nice and I wanted to feature the flowers so that's why I did it that way. So I have got lots of different ideas in here that have come from different other from other different YouTubers. This idea of the sewn um, uh, ribbon is from Natasha at Treasure Books. She has a video. And I coffee dyed paper. I made envelopes. And in this one there's paper, extra paper. There is uh, there are I think this one is done with Doc PH Martin, not Doc Martin, PH Martin <laughs> Bombay Ink. Those of you who watch PBS will know what that was about. <laughs> I got lots of great colors with them. Looks like the ocean. All right, so there are five signatures. Each signature starts out with um, cardstock. That's folded in half, as you know. There's a pocket, and then there's some of the leftover napkin that's done. I think this is cardstock underneath it to give it some stability. You can use it for numerous things. And then the other is four sheets of computer paper that have been dyed, and they're folded in half and put in here. So there's five signatures like that. So here is another cardstock, and then here is a. Uh, Bombay ink dyed paper. There is a mini journal in here with uh, jelly printed papers. I tried to keep them with colors that are kind of aligned with the blue. I did the flower artwork myself. These are all my drawings. There is a cello envelope with a small tag in it. And I sewed on here so that you would have two layers the front layer and the back layer and I put things in there to show you that there's possibilities there of two layers. Here's another one. This again is my artwork. Except for this. That's not mine. So there are the pa the pages in here. 
more of my flower drawings for you to use as you wish. This is mine. More envelopes, more paper inside them. So the book is full of all kinds of goodies. This is a heart um, bookmark that G. Kerr had in a video that I really loved and I made a ton of these. So I thought, well, I'll include this with it. So this comes with the book. More little envelopes. There's a metal um, butterfly. It's a shallow envelope. Here's the other, you know, I did it as a one page and folded it back in one page like this. There's another one with something inside it. This other one doesn't. Nope, does there? Nope, that's nothing inside there. And then there's a metal key there to help keep the front weighted down. There's no magnet on those. Again, tuck spots. Here's more um, fringe. Fringe. The, uh, more paper ribbon. This is a pocket where I drew the picture, put it on painty paper, then glued it onto the pocket. And the pocket, every book that I, that I talk about in this series has a miniature Coptic stitch book. Let me do it the right way. Which is filled with coffee dyed paper. So there's several pages in this little Coptic stitch book. I think this is maybe an inch and a half by inch and a half. How about I tell you? <laughs> two inches by two inches. I couldn't remember. I knew they were exact measurements. The same. It was square. All right, there's that one. Then more paper. More of my artwork. So this is a lot about flowers. Did you get that? <laughs> Here's an envelope. Did you hear it? There's another one. This one has a uh, magnet on it to make sure that whatever's in this envelope stays in the envelope. Another pocket. There's some lace that someone sent me that I thought would look nice in here. I don't usually do use this kind of stuff, but I thought it was pretty cool. Here's another envelope with more artwork in it. And it also folds out. And there's painting paper. A lot of this stuff is sewn. I tried to teach myself how to sew, so not everything is perfect, but it wasn't meant to be. Here's another pocket, has some things inside it, and there's a magnet. All right, so this is a little miniature painty paper envelope, and it has something inside it. This is painty paper. These are a lot of the, the things that are like this are usually jelly prints. There's this one that folds out. And a little tab for you to make it fold in and out. I tried to make it as sturdy as possible so um, you don't tear it up pulling it up open and close. This is sewn on here. This is uh, washi tape. And there you go. There's all five of the signatures. And I made the binding uh, the book construction itself is made from three pieces. There's the front, the back, and then the middle section, which makes it more flexible to open up as much as you can. A lot of the, um, it is done with a, a three-hole pamphlet stitch, but because this is flexible, it makes it much easier to open it up, and it it's easier to so that it, it it's not going to lay flat perfectly, but it's much better than a regular um, one one piece cover, which comes from a box basically, and it has a seam on each side, and it's just one large piece that makes the book. So if you do the three piece binding, it makes it easier for you to hold it open. All right, and I wanted. To to cover up the stitching. I wanted the hidden spine to, I wanted this to hide the stitching. So all the books have the um, stitching hidden. All right, so here's the first book. Uh, this is the second book. See how, how, because it does that, you can move it back and forth. All right, here's the paper ribbon. Instead of putting everything in pockets, I just used a paper clip here and gave you a, ver a, a variety of different kinds of papers you could put extra in here somewhere. There's a pocket that has a magnet. There is the little heart um, bookmark that G. Kerr 
had in her video. These are all dyed papers, again, the same as what um, I put in the other book, only these revolve around pinks and browns and plums and purples. Here is a side pocket that was sewn on with some stuff inside it. Again, the dyed paper, a mixture of coffee dyed and colored dyed paper. Here's a see-through pocket that is in here that has little, there's a pocket here, and then you turn it over here, and there's a pocket here. And then it's sewn on here with, I've sewn washi tape on here. More of my um, flower doodlings. That is also a pocket. Five signatures, three whole pamphlet stitch with cotton thread. Here is another tuck spot that is two layers. There's one in the back, and then there's one in the front. I'm trying to give you lots of places to put your stuff, the way I put mine. There's this, and then there is this. So there's two layers. So all of the books have different kinds of little envelopes in them. Some have magnetics, uh, magnets in them, some don't. I just try to put little interesting things everywhere throughout the book. And I try to put a little something in every pocket. So there's book number two. This is book number three. This one is different than all the others because I think this was the first one I did and I picked this lovely napkin with um, hydrangea blossoms got them all on there and realized I didn't have any more of the napkins so there's nothing on the spine and nothing on the back and the inside is plain also and that really kills me because I think these are beautiful flowers and it was such a lovely napkin but I just didn't have another one and couldn't find another one just like it again the G. Kerr bookmark with a little dangle on it. The ruffle from Natasha at Treasure Book. And more dyed papers, copy dyed papers. Envelope with a magnet. This envelope idea came from a lady on the on YouTube and I will find the woman's name and put her the link to her video on how to make these envelopes for the life of me I cannot remember this lovely lady's name she does such a great job and she makes it look super duper simple and it is or I wouldn't have done it all right more more tuck spots and I make sure I put things in there so you understand there's a tuck spot in there here's a pocket and again the little Coptic stitch book as in the other book I, I old I open them this way and put them in here because they're a little bit bulky you know to put in something like this so I just opened it flat just a piece I sewed on the edge here because I had it and I hate to waste this stuff this is hand drawn this is that yeah. colored this is a piece that you can open up Okay. And again, there's just lots of pockets and little decorations throughout. I didn't want to decorate it too much because I want you to put your personality in the book, not just mine. Here's another tuck spot with things in it. And then there's the opposite direction this way. So it's sewn here and sewn here. And then another pocket there. And there's a, an envelope that is sewn in here with my artwork and then stuff inside the envelope. Not a lot, but just a little something that was left over from cutting paper. I think I think you should have so it could match other things in the book if you wish. And then I covered the back of it with yet more of my artwork, another piece of paper that's just glued onto the back of the envelope here. All right, that's book number three. Book number four has two different napkins on it. It has the green and white striped napkin, and then I thought, well, it looks like a fence to me, so a fence should have some flowers growing on it. So then I took a second napkin, and I put the pink flowers on it to make it look like they've grown on the fence. Again, the binding is covered up. I just left this plain on the back. And the inside is plain. 
This one I got a little crazy with putting stuff in here. This, these are little teeny pockets, and yes, they have the magnets on them. This is a little pocket that I learned to make from Natasha, who saw it from somewhere else. I filled it with little tiny, little tiny embellishment things that I had. And then this one has something in it. Again, magnet. Here is another tuck spot with my artwork. It's sewn in here. I tried to sew as much as I could because I like the sewn look. I don't like all the strings that go with it, but I do like the sewn look. This is a tag made out of a napkin. Again, dyed paper, shades of green and pinks and coffee. Another envelope that has a magnet and stuff inside it. Here is a fold out. I did it this way. I made a leaf as the part where you grab a hold up to fold it open. Here's a tuck spot for all kinds of papers and then this also folds open. And it is sewn. Then this has a washi tape on the back side. This is another piece that I hated to get rid of so I sewed it onto another piece of paper and glued it on this side. There is no sewing on the back side in case you want to glue something else there of your own. So that's on the side. This is cardstock. And then this is an envelope, I mean a, um, a tuck spot. Pocket. Here's another one. There's the G Kerr bookmark in here. Okay, um, I also put some little extra things that I had here into the pockets. I really liked sewing the pockets and then gluing them on the book so that none of the stitching sews on the uh, shows on the other side. This is just um, an envelope made out of some specialty paper that I bought. I stamped the paper and then just made a very simple little envelope. It feels like fabric. It feels very cool. Almost like interfacing, but it's not. And then I put this really lovely, let me do it this way, really lovely paper clip. Hold it in there. And again, just lots of pockets with my artwork, with flowers, some jelly prints. More jelly prints with extra paper added into them. Again, another pocket. This one opens. Now, this one's a little stiff because I think I got carried away sewing um, <laughs> the tape, the washi tape on there, so it seems a little stiff. I glued it on there. I didn't sew it. Sorry, I glued it, so it's a little stiff there. At least you know it's not going to come apart, right? I mean, that booger is on there. Okay. Then another Coptic stitch book. Here we go. Opened up flat. More um, paper. And it is done on both sides. If you don't like one side, maybe you'll like the other. And again, I tried not to put too much of my stuff in here, although it's so hard. All right, I made a second envelope out of that, that fabric feeling paper. And then this one is glued onto the page. I wanted to give you the option to put in the other one when you want it. And this one is the only one that has a piece of my metal art in here, but I thought it looked really cool on the page. I don't know why. All right, and there's extra paper. So there are the books that I have been working on for months. I dyed all the paper during, and these are basically like the COVID, the, the COVID series. <laughs> I lost my mind and then I started dyeing paper and making books. These are the first one, two, three, four books. And then I have some more that um, I haven't photographed or put in my Etsy store. All these are in the Etsy store. So I'll give you the link down below for all the people I mentioned in their videos. And that lady who made that lovely envelope, I've got to find this lady's name and her video so you can see how to make these envelopes because they are very cool envelopes. Um, okay, so let me show you. Even though they look loosey-goosey on the screen, they do sit upright. You know, like a regular book. They do. They don't wobble. And you can lay it flat like that. Unless you want to go like this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help myself. Anyway, so 
so that's my there are my books and I will come back with the, uh, another video with the rest of them that I'm going to post as I get to it. The next video for the Etsy store will be the Coptic Stitch books that I am needing to purge out of my room because they're starting to take over. I think I've made close to 30. And, you know, I'm saying that as last night I printed off some of my own digi paper from my Etsy store and <laughs> I'm making another book. I'm just a little weird that way. Okay, anyway, so the next video for the Etsy store will probably either be the co more Coptic Stitch, or the Coptic Stitch books, or demonstrating the, the stencils. I don't know. Just come back and watch. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Bye.